Hey everybody, just wanted to share some information with you that kind of fell into my lap recently. Um, but first I want to show you why I've been skeptical about uh, using argon and iron uh, for the EPG gas. Um, here's Stan, he'll tell you in his own words. Uh, I feel like in the video on his lecture of the EPG gas, um, he's hiding the secret. And this is why. So, here's the first reference. So one of the techniques, this is not the only technique, but this is the technique that, uh, that I'll relate to. And one more. I'm using the tablet. I've any combination thereof. Alright. So, because Stan says that, um, when he's explaining it, I don't believe that the argon and the iron are the combination that he's actually using. Instead, uh, I was recently talking to a, sorry about this terrible footage, um, I was working with a up-and-coming doctor and we started talking about the EPG. He's had advanced chemistry classes and physics and he made some suggestions that I would like to share with you that, are, that I've recently uh, somewhat validated. Um, he suggested using helium and neon. He said that those gases would bond better with metals um, and that's related to their size, the size of the gas atom. So here's the article I found recently. Uh, maybe this will shed some light on it. It's an article um, by the Journal of Physical Chemistry and it talks about rare combinations of gas and metal bonding. Uh, so you can see here, cobalt is bonding with helium and neon, and nickel will bond with helium and neon, and chromium will bond with helium, neon, and argon. I think we need to focus on these right here, cobalt and nickel bonding. So I'm going to be buying some helium and neon here pretty soon and uh, do some testing. So just wanted to share that with you. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments if you know more about this. Uh, your comments are welcome and uh, let's get this information out there and uh, produce this gas. Move one step forward. Thanks. Talk to you later.